Hello guys, and today I will speak about my eBay problems. First, I want to show you some signs of bad controller. When you push on the button, lights on, everything goes fine, should work. Second sign is controller overheating when you're riding and melted fuse. The place where it fuses. Fuse box, how it's called, yep. It looks really bad. It's melted very bad. So I need to order it new one. As this one is not good anymore. If you can see inside it's really bad melt is burnt so uh, I need to buy another one yeah. indicator this uh, shows the 5 volts it should be a 5 volts no less no more so everything shows it's alright and I, re I have another thumb throttle so I just replace it because I was thinking maybe some throttle is faulty, but no, it's everything good, same as old one, so no difference, so it's not make a difference. So, and I have uh, another controller. I lucky, I was uh, I have another bike, same voltage, same watts. By the way, it's a 1000 watt bike and a 48 volt battery. Only this bike has a 13 ampere, 13 ampere hour batteries. Uh, this mine's bigger, but I have. He have the 45 ampere batteries, which is located on a rear rack, because there's no room to put it in. So nowhere. Only in this small gaps can fit controller. So, and I was thinking is the rear wheel, so motor is faulty, but after checking, yeah. I, find out is a controller definitely because I took the uh, my new, new bike controller connected to the old one and it's start work everything uh, first signs of bad controller became like a two weeks ago when I was riding on the road like uh, full speed my fuses blow uh, when I replace it after two days, something like that, yep, as the same problem became again. So I was thinking, oh, maybe it's bad fuses. Just replace it into more powerful, like four times, because before it was 30 amp. But it's the, that problem it stays nowhere to go on. So, and now it's definitely 100% died a few days later. So. I'm lucky I have another controller, so I don't need to buy a new one. If you guys have the same symptoms as I have for my e-bike, that means it could be 99% your e-bike controller is faulty. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. And if you like it, my video, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.